can you guys share with your other friends what would be the common topic uh yang you like or favor most under the better value function is actually expectation you dah able to define the vector field calculate the divergence and curl of vector field evaluate the line integral evaluate work done by the vector field all of that any part yang you like or favor most you can share with your friend at the chat box we need binomial vector from ideal okay to so, dalam the Okay. It's actually a, a great juga lah. <coughs> you get a chance to attend this lecture of EKG from four different lecturers and we cover different topics. So, but then uh, it just a start, um, can start off uh, refreshing mode to you uh, on the on each of the topic. <coughs> and I will say that uh, biasanya part, apa, top chapter yang last ni will be a bit challenge lah for you guys <coughs> and you present this, uh, this course back to value function for the last chapter for the final chapter you will come across lots of uh, stuff involving integration okay yang you can recognize uh, per formula mana yang you nak guna untuk uh, untuk solve a certain uh, topic okay so at the end of this learning outcome this is lesson uh it is very uh, hopeful you guys should be able to state and use the green theorem okay but you start to evaluate the surface integral and then you able to apply macam refer macam which is actually the stock theorem so apa yang you uh, you able to state state basically you dah tahu okay kalau macam ni you are referring to the stock theorem kalau program apa kalau this problem you apply the divergence theorem and then uh, lepas tu you tahu nak apply lah, uh, continue with the solution. Okay, so this is the expectation, our output ni. But no matter what, it's a good, we go through uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the problem. Okay, we try to solve it uh, together. Okay, so you know apa problem you, tapi rather than focus on the problem, I'm hoping that everyone is actually focus on the solution. Okay, because when you are focusing on the solution, it's actually expectation that, uh, you be more precise dengan apa yang you buat because you know uh, you apa solution you you know uh, you tak dwell too much on the problem because yelah dalam this point this actually this uh, verse, apa solution for uh, this slide is more on applicable for any kind of situation not only for this course tapi juga untuk ideas other stuff that you are dealing in your life okay so you, uh, so that is the intention bila you belajar apa-apa course pun yang you attend. Uh, we have the problem, yes, but don't dwell to, uh, too long to the problem. Okay, there's always a solution. Okay, and yang penting you progress with that. You, uh, you, you buat, you buat, you buat latihan, you buat, uh, you are not stagnant, you are moving. Macam uh, even, uh, ni pun kalau saya lama sangat ke, you, you raise your hand, you nak break ke apa ke, just let me know you want to have your own water cup okay please do so eh? okay so i just hope that everyone is actually should focus on the solution focus lah okay now let's move <coughs> to the most important stuff here for this uh for today's session i think last that's what i just i was mentioned by uh dr Fa. you guys malam uh last monday tak sempat sampai dekat green's theorem kan is it true Uh, yeah, that's it. Eh, okay, so hari ni kita uh, untuk this, kita break-break sikit lah. I will put this recording session break, uh, apa, macam part by part. So, uh, habis green theorem, I end the recording. Lepas tu kita break sekejap. Lepas tu we continue with the next topic. Okay. So, let's move to for the green theorem. These are the given formula. Actually, you dah boleh tampal lah ataupun apa ke jot down somewhere. This is the green theorem. Every time you nak refer to uh, to solve to, to find a solution involving uh, that you that you will apply this green theorem okay uh, saya suka ingatkan everyone okay okay the the formula is there okay but the most important is actually how you're going to apply this green theorem okay so first thing first you have to understand how the formula works okay kat sini on the left hand side is actually stated that single integration on the right hand side is a double uh, double integration 
Okay, you pun boleh clearly see. Okay, yang belah sini is actually C, curve. Okay, belah sini region. Okay, so dalam Chris theorem ni, obviously, up, uh, curve U tu adalah curve yang close, apa, uh, close curve lah. So, because from the close curve, you actually can get a region. Okay, so that is how it works. So, kalau you tengok kat sini, on the left hand side, if you have this kind of uh, green, on the green theorem, it's actually expectation. You have a function in X and Y. And then you have the dx plus gxy, another function of gx uh, in the xy, okay, uh, dy. And then it's actually equivalent to double integration of that region where you can convert this single integration kepada ni, but you are prob changing from the curve integration kepada region of uh, that area, that particular area of the curve, okay. So that is how you read from the uh, the expression of Matt's term. So this is the long story of it. I include in the uh, <coughs> in the uh, in the in the slide already. Okay. Uh, so basically, kalau you want to expand this green theorem into the vector. Okay. So for now you know that the vector. Uh, sebab bila melibatkan region. Okay. So region. Uh, the region. Uh, the common uh, vector of the region adalah. Uh, uh, is either 2D ataupun 3D. Okay. So, kalau you nak suka, sebab this is actually the theorem of it lah. So, theorem kita just apply as engineering student or engineering field. Uh, people have proved the theorem. So, we just apply so that we can uh, suit to solve the, our, pro our problem. Okay. So, that's why they highlight here. Let the region R be a simply connected plane region whose boundary is super close. So, the term here is actually close. Apa dia punya highlight term ni? Okay, it's actually close piecewise smooth curve. Okay, so when you, uh, and it's actually oriented clockwise, uh, clockwise direction. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so let's look at the example. Example ni dah ada solution this year. Okay, so let's say you want to have this, uh, you want to evaluate this form. Okay, just you will check what is actually the, the formula for the Green's theorem, you know that here should be a function of that fxy, uh, the coefficient of this dx, the finding must be function of xy, the coefficient function uh, define dy ni pun must, must be a function of x and y, okay. So once, once we know one, which one is actually function of f, which one is function of g, then we can rearrange into a double integral using this formula, okay. So ni satu formula we differentiate because what, how, why we use del? Because we know it's actually a partial differentiation. It's involved uh, a two independent variable. So you differentiate the function f here in front of the coefficient of the x with respect to y. Tapi yang ni, you differentiate with respect to x. Okay. So, pakai je, apply je dia punya formula. Okay. Uh, the most important things is, bila you nak guna Grinch theorem, you know that you have to change to the double integral. Okay, you dah belajar sebelum ni from the previous chapter, double integral, you need to determine the uh, the region, okay, the area region because that will be indicate sama ada you nak guna, you dah double integral ada apa, dx, dy, uh, Cartesian, sama ada you nak guna satu lagi, uh, apa, apa uh, polar, okay, uh, kalau double lah, double biasa Cartesian, polar, apa lagi satu, saya tak adjust time ni, saya tak ingat dah, saya terus ambil yang ni. Okay, so so you can, but you have to change this, the order of integration of the A ni with respect to the region. Some region lebih senang guna uh, coordinate x, y. Some region adalah senang you guna dalam uh, polar form. Okay, so macam mana you nak determine that? It's based on the region, uh, region yang given lah. The, uh, the statement that actually given here. Over the triangle path show in this figure. So ni kat sini, dalam Grace Theorem ni, clearly Lagi mudah kita guna Cartesian lah sebab it's just a triangle. Okay, dengan, uh, dia ada three vertices, uh, point dia dekat satu kosong, satu dua, kosong kosong. You boleh uh, update, uh, cuba juga lah dekat you punya note. Okay. You boleh perasan kita ada kosong kosong origin. Okay, we also have one zero here. So, ada three vertices. So, this is the region. So, from this, you tahu you akan convert the R 
Okay, and then you know that you have to do the uh, DFDY. Okay, DFDY, DGDX. Okay, over the DA. So, ke saya? Saya tak ingat formula pun eh. Sebab saya tahu benda formula tu dia beri. Buat apa ingat? <laughs> oh, sebalik. DGDX tolak DFDY. DGDX tolak DA. Okay. Tolaklah, tolak kat sini. Okay. So, kat sini. So, just recognize what is the function X, uh, what is the function of F, what is the function of G. And then, uh, you differentiate F with respect to Y. Okay, you differentiate G with respect to X. Okay. Then, you substitute into this. Okay, saya rasa concern semua pelajar tak, I'm not sure lah. I, I need to get the feedback from you guys. Uh, apa kalau formula diberi apa sebenarnya yang apa sebenarnya problem um, from your own side uh, untuk penyelesaian Green's Theorem ke Green's Theorem you okay je can I get a feedback apa isu selalunya happen since you are given the formula you masukkan dalam persamaan apa sebenarnya yang problem you bila dealing dengan Green's Theorem you can write your answer at the chat box juga Kalau dia dah mention nak guna uh, teorem ataupun cara mana-mana, green teorem tak ada masalah. Tapi kalau hmm. dalam exam ke apa, kita tak tahu nak pakai yang mana satu yang tu masalah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ayri, for the feedback. Uh, okay, kalau macam ni kan sebab kita untuk kelas dia sedikit direct kan. Tapi you kena, uh, apa, you, okay. I come back to this one lah balik the formula kan sebab you tahu ni Green's Theorem so you kena tahu dulu uh, region dia punya term kat sini adalah uh, you tahu C ni adalah bila C yang you dapat adalah sejenis close curve punya ni dan dia beri satu lagi term adalah dia clockwise clockwise direction okay clockwise direction okay uh, apa lagi dia pergi dia biasa akan cari uh, Green's Theorem ni application dia selalu dekat uh, Um, work ke apa benda lah macam I can recall apa benda Nanti kita tengok apa lagi contoh lain uh, so bila macam tu uh, dia tahu ni dia akan so bila close curve je sebab bila open curve dia boleh guna yang sebelum ni punya theorem ok line integral punya ni tapi kalau dia close curve we can bila close dia definitely akan bagi you satu region satu region so you have to identify you punya DA lah so you punya DA ni can be DX dy ataupun atau dy dx okay. uh, atau pula juga boleh jadi bentuk kalau dia you dapat region tu dalam bentuk pola so you pakai r dr di theta uh, so dia senang bila bila dia i think bila the second uh, bila dia uh, double integral okay uh, region you tu mudah sikit lah you nak determine sebenarnya okay based on the uh, the area that you get lah okay, pak bagus juga macam tu atau ada lain, ada lain apa lagi la, isu lain yang you, you encounter ke semua sama macam yang tadi cakap tu. So untuk kes ni, satu lagi, uh, okay kalau you perhatikan dalam yang slide ni, dia bagi dy dx kan? Okay, uh, do you think that you can also uh, convert this into dia punya dA ni pakai dx dy? Dan ni kan dia punya solution pakai dy dx. So, you can also get a set answer by reversing the order. You dapat dx dy. You can 1 minus x squared. Ini pun boleh juga. Okay. Cuma always bear in mind uh, dalam case yang ni. Okay. Sebab you kena first you kena cari lah apa. Sebab you ada line ni. Line ni adalah y sama dengan kosong. Okay, line ni pula adalah uh, X sama dengan 1 and this line how you encounter this, this is actually obviously MX plus C tapi sebab C dia kosong dekat origin so dia MX saja. So how you determine this, how do you get M? Okay, you substitute 1 dengan 2 ni kan. So M sama dengan uh, Y per X. So Y adalah 2, X adalah 1 so that's why you dapat Y sama dengan 2 X. Okay, so you ada the region uni is bounded by 
Okay, your region is actually bounded by y sama dengan 2x line. X sama dengan 1 and also y sama dengan kosong. Okay, so bila ada keadaan macam ni. Okay, you tahu juga um, your y, okay, is the lower limit of y is 0. The upper limit of y akan jadi 2. Okay, and for x pula, x adalah daripada uh, y per 2. Okay, y per 2 until x equal to 1. Okay, so you boleh plan ni jugalah. Ni dah, you dah, uh, dah macam part of revision from your chapter 2. Okay, by reversing the order, you ni, you still can get the same answer is equal to 1 over 2. Okay. Okay, so ni contohlah. Okay, ni contoh, uh, ni. Uh, macam tadi, uh, betul lah. This is one of the applications. Sebab ni dia tak cakap pun pakai green store ke apa eh. Uh, betul. Tapi you dah boleh bear in mind lah. You boleh highlight. So anything that actually involving uh, a work uh, a workforce, okay, a workforce field, okay, uh, you simply direct to gunakan pada green store. Okay. Uh, sebab macam yang tadi, okay, macam yang ni, you tengok eh. Dia punya ni adalah two company, uh, two, uh, maksudnya dia punya Better is only involve uh, two components like I dengan J. Okay, so you have I and you also have J here. Okay, and then you have a unit circle at squared plus Y squared equal to 1 in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, so for this one, you refer the, to the first page, okay, where you have, wherever you have this green theorem, satu lagi ni adalah kita akan guna dia dalam this form. Okay. You need to say we have to find the f dot dengan the derivative r prime p of the function. So kita kena slightly uh, change the expression to the parameter t before you can use this uh, formula. Okay. So to do that, okay, you will notice that apa yang dia buat kat sini, okay, they just ambil function of x, okay, and function of y. Okay, and then they differentiate with respect to the, uh, the, the, the x and y. Okay, the parameter here kat sini adalah x and y. Okay, ada situasi yang mungkin parameter the t, so you have to suit to the situation of your uh, expression integral tu. Okay, so kalau kat sini, this is a function of x and y, this is a function of x and y. Okay, and then uh, you just directly follow the formula that uh, del f del x minus del g uh, del, del f del x aku pun dah ni del f del del g del x tolak del f del y okay. okay del g del x tolak del f del y kenapa oh sebab ni differentiate okay del g del x tolak del f del y okay so the first two, you just simply differentiate with respect to x. Okay, and then you differentiate uh, ni sebenarnya del. Terbalik ni. Okay. Balik ni dy. Ni dy, ni dx. Sorry guys. Betul kan eh? Betul kan? Betul kan? Lah, patutlah. Ni kan F. Ni kan G. Ada typo sikit. Kita tak check. Okay. Tapi the remaining ada adalah betul ni. <coughs> okay, turun betulkan nota masing-masing. Okay. So you akan lepas tu remaining adalah apa, apa yang sama. Cuma, okay. Cuma kita kena back in mind eh. Okay. So on the particle, uh, if you go back to this example, find the work done by the force field okay, given by this expression of uh, the, the vector f okay, on the particles that travel once around the unit circle. Okay, so back to saya suka ad, uh, advise you guys to at least sketch so that you know uh, curve yang you dapat tu uh, apa ni bulatan ke besar, apa bulatan ke besar apa, bulat, apa bentuk you punya uh, vector tu. Sorry guys, background noise sikit ada. 
construction tu kat belakang. Okay, so you akan dapat unit cycle, okay, uh, unit circle of x squared y squared, meaning that daripada origin, okay, so they always one, circle of one. Okay, so the circle of one, so dia adalah clockwise direction, so this is the curve. So bila dia tahu curve you adalah close, okay, close curve, okay, so that's, that is where from you can apply the Green's theorem. So the here the punya region adalah the curve. Okay, so that's why in the solution part, okay, rather than you uh, dwell with the solution in terms of uh, the x, the y, okay, so it is advisable because based on the region, you tahu is a circle, circle with radius 1 and also is a one complete circle with theta uh, 0 to pi. Okay. Based on this, so you tahu R adalah, R mesti, lebih, R mesti positive. Okay. So R is from the origin until this one, 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 one. Okay. So R equal to 1. But theta is a complete circle from 0 to 2 pi. Then you get this one. Okay, so bila kita tengok last, last example for Green's Theorem ni. Okay, sebelum kita buat exercise, kita tengok last example of the Green's Theorem. Okay, so... Uh, dalam Green's Theorem juga, kita boleh expand, okay, uh, kita boleh modify, uh, apply the, uh, using the concept of the Green's Theorem where we can use the formula uh, to find the area under the enclosed by the elite, okay. So, uh, dalam dalam ni, sekejap. Uh, okay, sorry ya guys, memang tak boleh, tak boleh stop unit tu. They have to proceed with it. <laughs> okay, never mind. So let, uh, kalau saya cuba. Okay, so, okay, in this example 3 pula, uh, you guys tengok kat sini. 
uh, you are given uh, some area of your ellipse tau. Uh, ellipse, you ada uh, ellipse punya surface. Okay. So, kita tahu formula ellipse uh, is given by x squared uh, over x squared plus y squared uh, over b squared equal to 1. Okay. And then, Dalam kes ni, okay, we want to encounter the counterclockwise orientation of the ellipse. Okay, uh, cuma ini adalah contoh macam mana kita nak uh, macam mana kita nak dapatkan uh, apa dia punya uh, the the work done on that ellipse. Okay, uh, tapi sebab ellipse ni kita tahu dia punya uh, dia punya ni adalah subject to this A and B. Okay, and then Kalau kita nak buat ellipse kan, semua orang boleh draw ellipse tak? So kalau ellipse, dia tak macam shape uh, apa, circle. Okay. So bila kita nak tukarkan ni kepada double integral of the region of this VA. Okay. Depends on this formula. Okay. This region, uh, dia tak, dia mungkin tak berapa sesuai untuk dx dy atau dy dx. Okay. Uh, so shape dia pula dia bukannya boleh pakai r dr di theta sebab dia theta itself uh, the, the theta is a berubah daripada A lepas tu dia jadi P kan lepas tu dia tukar negatif A so dia tak boleh macam tadi contoh yang tadi lah example tu tu where you can use the circle punya formula okay so kat sini apa uh, apa yang you boleh consider adalah untuk change dia punya uh, presentation of the expression dalam bentuk yang one simple form sahaja okay one simple, uh, one simple parameter so here the suggestion is actually you to you, for you to use uh, to change it in the form of t. Okay, parameter t. Okay, when you when you are doing uh, doing that, meaning that you need to say that you change all the expression. Okay, uh, the x dt ni sebab bila, bila you ada x, bila you let your x equal to a cos t, y dy. So you dah jadikan dia uh, ODE. So you just find the dx over dt x over dt okay you akan buat you akan cari dx over dt and also you have dy over dt okay so bila bila you will replace dekat x okay you akan replace ni akan jadi dx akan jadi dt okay so you can change all the dx with respect to uh, a sine t and then this might appear to be uh, b cos t. So, untuk dapatkan dx saja, so that's why that's why you akan dapat dx adalah negative a sine t dt. Okay, and to get your dy only, okay, so b cos t, b cos t, dt. Okay. So that's why the first two you just substitute, replace accordingly. Y replace dengan b sin t, dx replace dengan negative a sin t, dt. Dy replace, uh, substitute with b cos t. Okay. And x uh, substitute dengan a cos t. So you akan dapat this expression. So yang ni, you still remain dia dalam bentuk, you just, you still remain uh, you punya a curve tu, okay, as it is, as it is. Because, okay, you kena pump kat sini, kenapa you, bila you let the, okay, ID kat sini, you let x equal to a cos t, okay, but you have to bear in mind, you kena tahu t tu you nak bagi berapa. Okay, bila you let x equal to a cos t, so you kena tahu a, a daripada, uh, t yang you introduce in your solution, okay, T that you introduce in this solution must be give, uh, must be given a value. Okay, 
So when you let x equal to a cos t, y equal to b sin t, okay, somehow you have to encounter back to this situation. Okay, so basically kat sini, the movement of this curve, okay, the movement is sebab kita nak movement of this curve must be a clockwise direction kan. So the movement adalah daripada a kosong, okay, a kosong, titik a kosong, kepada, uh, kepada uh, uh, kosong negatif b, okay, kepada negatif a kosong, okay, Lepas tu dia pergi kepada uh, kosong B. Kosong B. Before they turn back to A kosong. Okay, barulah dia complete the close curve. Okay, barulah dia complete the close curve. So, apakah bila you nak introduce pada satu parameter, uh, parameter, uh, parameter expression, okay, the selection of the expression that you use he must be able to capture this movement, this closed curve movement. Okay, so that's why when they introduce x equal to a cos t, y to b sin t, okay, um, it should be able to capture, okay, kalau a, so untuk case ni kan, dia bukan simply, okay. So kalau a kosong, eh kalau sorry, kalau t kosong, okay, let's put this way. Okay, the x, where the y, where the t. Okay, so kalau you dah let x equal to a cos t, y equal to b sin t. Okay, for t kosong, okay, for t zero, okay, we take from t, nanti berapa kalau t zero, so this akan jadi a, okay, y akan jadi uh, zero. Okay, the next one, uh, maybe we take uh, pi over two. Pi over 2, okay. Tapi ni counter clockwise direction. Okay, tak apa. Kalau counter clockwise direction, the ellipse with counter clockwise direction, orientation. So, 0, pi over 2, pi. Uh, lepas tu, 0, pi over 2, pi. Berarti pi over 2. And then, pi. 2 pi. Okay, you tengok eh. A kosong. So, kalau pi over 2, cos pi over 2, 0. Okay, sin pi over 2, this is B. Okay, lepas tu kalau ni, uh, cos, uh, cos pi, negatif A. Okay, ni 0. Okay, lepas tu you akan dapat ni adalah 0, negatif B. Okay, bila tu pi, you akan dapat balik A, kosong. Okay, so, yang ni A kosong, cos, can you follow this guy? Okay, so you ada buat ni semua kan? So you ada this table. So this table is actually representing from A, from T equal to 0. Okay, so T to pi over 2. So T pi, okay, uh, then T equal to 3 pi over 2. And then it come back to T equal to pi. Okay, so that's why. The, uh, the table punya direction adalah daripada anti-clockwise direction for the one complete circle. Okay, the one yang saya flat, yang biru cahaya ni mula-mula kita nak buat the secara clockwise uh, clockwise direction. Okay, we understand that the ellipse function that way. Okay, bila kita counter that when we put uh, our t is from zero to, sebab t mesti lah lower limit to upper limit kan. So, lower limit to upper limit is actually from 0 to 2 pi. So, there goes, you get this expression. Okay. I want into uh, details about the, the integration part. But, macam uh, I owe a uh, person, dekat student, establish dulu your punya integration, lower limit to upper limit correctly. Okay. The order of integration correctly. And because the remaining is just, uh, you just continue with the punya uh, solution. Okay. So sebenarnya kalau you nak consider the counterclockwise, uh, the 
transfer the sorry uh, this is counterclockwise direction we need to see zero from uh, c from zero to two pi lah okay what if you want to do the same thing tapi you nak pakai the wise direction okay so the changes yang akan berlaku adalah pada dia punya uh, lip, uh, dia punya alternatively alternatively you boleh uh, guna close uh, ni tapi you punya integration integration you dah nak respect to t kan so t tu uh, akan consider daripada uh, daripada pi dia akan dia ada way round lah dia akan ada macam pi kepada eh, dia akan jadi negatif pi kepada pi ha, tu pun boleh juga change negatif pi to pi sebab dia still cover the, the same the same uh, the same curve punya uh, direction orientation okay dan uh, dia still akan dapat jawapan yang sama juga okay so this one okay this one dah lebih macam exercise tapi macam saya kata I give you dia punya uh, dia punya limitation Okay, and then we will end this recording session. You do your own exercise for a while and then we come back to the new, the new start topic. Okay, so untuk example ni, what I'm going to show you is actually more on how you establish the uh, the order of integration. Okay, macam ni, macam tadi saya cakap lah, kalau dia dah bagi, uh, direct, dia dah bagi kita guide, guide, apa, guided question macam okay, using Green's Theorem, kita dah terus refer kepada Green's Theorem punya formula kan. Okay. So uh, satu lagi yang I tak tahu, I, I'm not sure if in this class macam semua okay uh, in determine how to determine the the upper limit dengan lower limit of the integration. Semua ada, semua okay lah part ni. Ada problem juga tu tak? Kat mana tu? Um, basically uh, dekat ni lah dekat uh, lower limit macam tu. Okay. Yes, uh, okay, thank you Muhammad. Uh, apa, uh, dia sebenarnya dia akan buat apa, dia sebenarnya, dia, kalau dia perasan sebenarnya chapter 3 ni dia relate balik dengan chapter 2. You guys dulu kan? Okay, uh, tak apa. Sekarang at least green children kita tahu dia akan buat curve sama ada dia anti-clockwise direction atau clockwise direction of curve It doesn't matter sebab bila kita tahu benda tu satu ruang, you imagine macam tali lah kalau tali tu bercantum balik daripada point point asal dia, kalau point asal dekat sini pergi sini, ke sini ke sini, ke titik ni, betul dia, dia jumpa balik titik, titik titik start dia kan, start dengan end dia adalah uh, point yang sama okay, so dia adalah close close curve okay, dia close curve, so bila close curve dia akan membentuk uh, region Okay, so dia akan ada region, region yang bertutup. Region lah, bila satu pagar, satu satu area dah berpagar, so dia akan bentuk region lah. Okay. So dia akan bentuk region. Okay, so dalam region ni, kita tahu kalau green theorem, okay, macam tadi kan, saya, saya concern jugalah, selalunya kalau, kalau you dah tahu guna formula, apa lagi silap ni kan? Maksudnya kita silap untuk dalam menentukan region tu punya lower limit dengan upper limit. Kita tahu bit, daripada single uh, curve punya close curve, kita boleh tukar daripada double ni dengan tentukan DA. Uh, yang part ni just equal formula je eh. Okay so tak ada masalah yang tu. So satu lagi uh, satu lagi yang possible ha things happen is actually your double integral tu. Okay your double integral uh, punya lower limit dengan upper limit. Okay so how to determine that? Okay we is actually come back to You understand ni masih chapter, chapter tu dululah. So you nak tentukan double integral. Okay. So double integral of the A, kita kena understand first region kita ni sesuai pakai apa. Sesuai, sesuai di represent dalam bentuk XY. Okay. Ataupun sesuai dalam bentuk R atau theta. Okay. Sebab dia study je kan. Apa lagi? Ataupun you have to convert it into one single parameter function of t Macam yang kita buat yang tadi lah Tapi bila function of t, we have to define juga t itu apa Daripada titik mula a, start the a, t sama dengan a Pada t and the t sama dengan b ha, Itu kena clear Okay, okay. 
Uh, so this DA, this DA kita dah tahu sama ada dia boleh jadi di, uh, cartesian dx dy atau dy dx okay, Tapi untuk contoh ni uh, dia sesuai pakai R and theta okay, Sebab titik dia tak berubah lah, dia actually based on uh, y equal to Dia just ambil positif area of y, uh, square root of y minus x squared Which this one, this formula, dia sebenarnya Uh, is actually equivalent, dia asal daripada separuh daripada bulatan kan so y squared equal to y minus x squared yang mana dia sama juga dengan x squared tambah y squared equal to 1 okay, dia sebenarnya dia ambil half of the bulatan macam ni kita tahu half bulatan, bulatan positif ke positif eh, positif ke negatif, we refer to this one, this one okay, so we have this positive value in front of it okay, so this is, uh, so this is obviously kita akan pakai r di r di theta, so that me Here is this one. Okay. Area kita, so tak payah daripada ni pun. Okay. So bila kita faham kenapa kita perlu gunakan dia dalam form of R and theta instead of X and Y. So dia akan membantu kita untuk set kita punya lower limit and upper limit of R di R di theta tu lah. Okay. Jadi untuk kes ni uh, uh, boleh boleh faham tak kenapa why why in certain cases kita keep dia dalam dx dy di, ataupun dy dx tapi in some cases it's more easy for us to solve it in, uh, if we change the order of integration kepada bentuk uh, yang lagi mudah lah r di r di theta. Okay sebab the shape of the <coughs> the region itself is uh, encourage us to to use a simpler form of in, order of integration sebenarnya. Jadi atas sebab tu, okay, kalau macam ni, okay, are you going to use the R di R di theta or R di theta di R? Ni ataupun R di theta di R. Ni nak guna yang mana guys? R di R di theta. Guna ni pun okay. You, guna ni pun okay. Okay, so kalau you nak pakai R di R di theta, that's fine. So kita pakai R di R di theta. So, what is that? So as a solution. Lalu saya pakai tablet saya sebab hari ni tablet saya kena pakai untuk yang lain. Okay, so solution. So solution. Uh, I just show you how to determine the limit and nanti you continue. Okay. So ni, whatever it is inside here, if you are going to use R, D, R, D, theta, okay, bear in mind, you have to, you have to study back your sketching, you punya region sketching ni. So you tahu sini, R dia tak akan berubah. R dia akan always one. Okay, always one. Okay, R dia sama ada, R, value R adalah daripada kosong ke satu. Okay, R radius of this, this half. Uh, this uh, semi-circle, semi-circle they actually taking the positive y punya value saja, maknanya y yang positif saja, bagian atas saja. okay, and then about theta theta dia pula, sebab kita tahu dia hanya ambil separuh saja bulatan yang positif, so theta dia akan bergerak uh, theta dia adalah direction of the theta kan macam ni kan theta, so theta dia sepatutnya daripada kosong ke pi okay So untuk completekan this uh, this uh, this r this region r punya lower limit, okay. So we have to uh, fit in the lower limit and upper limit of the function. Okay, r is actually from zero. R lower limit dia kosong. Misalnya nilai yang small kan, pada nilai yang besar r sama dengan satu. Okay, theta dia daripada cos theta kosong ke theta Pi. Okay. So you dapatlah bahagian yang colour kuning ni. The region tu. Okay. Saya tak tunjukkan remaining sebab yang ni directly daripada formula you boleh pakai kan. As long as you follow a formula tu betul-betul lah. Macam tadi pun I pun tersilap-silap. F dengan G tu kan. Ya ke? No. I pun dah tak ingat. F. 
sebab gantung sangat pada formula macam ni lah. Tak ingat pula. Uh, F dx, G dy. Tapi uh, del G del x, del F del y. Uh, so kena careful tau. Satu lagi yang selalu you guys strap adalah bila dia, dia, dia ubah position uh, di apa? Function tu uh, dy, satu lagi function tu depan, dia tukar lah. Dia swap ni. Tapi dia still any function yang uh, the coefficient okay, the coefficient of y perlu di uh, differentiate with respect to x. Coefficient yang dekat, uh, dekat uh, depan dx, dia perlu differentiate with respect to y. Itu je trick dia. Tapi you kena cap, you uh, bila guna formula pun kena kena faham uh, dia punya uh, formula, formula tu apa set apa the, the, the sense behind that formula yang uh, yang uh, yang diberi tu. Okay. So perhatikan uh, function yang depan coefficient dx we have to differentiate with respect to y. Yang satu lagi yang depan dy which, uh, you kena differentiate with respect to x. So kalau dia tukar ni position ni uh, you you kena tahu kat mana pertukaran yang berlaku lah. Okay. So saya tak continue tu eh. So, uh, I, I let you guys to do the exercise part. Okay. Okay now let's move to this one. Uh, ni dia, 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 dia tak cakap apa-apa pun. Tapi sebab dia bawah topik string theorem, kita tahu ni lah. Tapi obviously kat sini, dia punya hint adalah uh, dia suruh you cari uh, apa uh, the line integral. Okay the line integral ada dua kategori. Open uh, open curve ataupun close curve. Tapi kalau close curve, kita boleh pakai Green's Theorem. Okay. So kat sini, you from this expression, tapi you ada nampak, okay, depan ni ada coefficient of depan dx dan satu lagi ada coefficient, uh, coefficient function depan y. Function depan dy dengan function depan dx. So bila ni, straight away kita capture ni adalah bentuk Green's Theorem. Okay. Then we have to understand the curve itself. So the curve here for this case is stated that the curve is actually is just a circle of x squared or x squared equal to 9. So uh, again that's why as a solution always start with sketching. Okay, so sketching ni memang you kena refer balik chapter 1. Okay, so you kena dapatkan bentuk uh, curve, curve tu dulu. So kalau kat sini curve, kita tahu dia direct ni dia boleh bagi you circle. Okay, circle berapa? Circle y and x. So circle u tiga, tiga, negatif tiga, negatif tiga. Okay. And then it's actually in the form of Green's theorem. So you know the region, the the close, the close curve akan bagi you region. Okay. The close curve akan bagi you a region, the area, area of the region. Therefore as a solution daripada C of this one, dx tambah dy, okay, you tahu you can convert it into the region R okay, following the formula okay, and then you have your DA okay, so from this DA you akan dapat okay, you akan dapat uh, dia punya solution okay, dia punya solution obviously is the order of integration yang lebih sesuai adalah macam tadi jugalah pola pola uh, pola koordinat pola form okey so you have to replace accordingly uh, dx dt so dg dx you dapat 1 uh, minus df dy you dapat negatif y so this will be the function and then this is actually r the r d theta how we how we know we use the r d theta based on the region okay this is why pakai tu so bila you r d r d theta okay you nak gunakan integration you r d r d theta you have to ensure that you also change the all the x and y expression ni kepada r d r d theta tak boleh dah dalam ni function x y tetapi order of integration you r and theta okay so to do that okay uh, we have to change y Okay, Y yang kat dalam ni kepada uh, R and theta form. Okay, so to determine that, you must understand juga. 
Okay, the concept of the concept of uh, R. Okay, this why? Okay, why? Uh, kita kena. Uh, you can refer balik chapter two, yang ada uh, apa relationship between Cartesian, okay, kepada R and theta. Okay, so x sama dengan R cos theta, y sama dengan R sin theta. Ada pusing-pusing yang tu je kan. Dan tadi kan kita nak tukar pada parameter T, kita jadikan theta daripada T kan. Okay, so untuk kes ni, uh, kita check balik relationship to form the calculation to the, uh, to the polar form. So with that, uh, Y akan jadi R sin theta. Okay, so bila Y sama dengan R sin theta, so simply uh, replace that Y with R sin theta. Okay, so maknanya 1 tambah 2 Y lah tadi kan. So, 1 tambah 2 Y. Okay, 1 tambah 2. Sekarang dah jadi R sin theta close bracket. So, ada R kat situ. Okay. And now, uh, we have to seek the value of uh, lower limit and upper limit for both R dengan theta. Okay. So, tapi easy. I believe you guys are straight away tau. Itulah. At the very least, try to score your solution by fill in the integration punya limit tu. Okay. So based on the sketching juga. So kalau you ada sketching macam ni. Okay. Uh, you tahu R dia adalah daripada kosong ketiga. R tak mungkin negatif kan. Okay. R, 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 R is apa maksud R tu sendiri. R tu adalah radius. Okay. Radius adalah uh, panjang lah. Tak mungkin lah panjang tangan you negatif dua kan. Uh, dia mesti daripada kosong. Apa daripada pen, masa you baby kecil apa-apa apa, apa ni. Kosong Daripada tak ada kosong, pada ada uh, dua, tiga, so on. Dia tak ada negatif. So R must be a positive. So, R is from 0 to 3. While theta pula, untuk ni, theta adalah daripada kosong ke 2 pi. Okay. So, and then you establish ni, you dah tukar all the x, y dalam function inside here. Uh, correctly, with R and theta form. Then you dah boleh proceed untuk, untuk integration. Integration process. So, you akan ada R tambah 2R sin theta. 2R squared kan eh? kat sini ada 2R squared. Sin theta di R di theta. Ah, This is the condition sometimes uh, lagi sesuai kita guna uh, R di theta di R. Tak apalah. Pakai je ni pun sama juga. Okay so you akan dapat the first one akan dapat R squared over 2 tambah 2 third R uh, cube. Okay, sin theta. And then you have to find 0, 3. Okay, di theta. 0, 2, 2, 5. Okay, so lepas tu masukkan substitute pula. The next, the next function. So you akan dapat 9 per 2 tambah 2 per 3. Uh, 27. Okay, sin theta. Sebab R kosong yang tu dia jadi kosong. So tak perlu masuk. So you ada D theta. Okay. So settlekan ni. Then you move to the next uh, integrate which is back to theta pula. Saya tak tujuh habis ya. Eh? But I'm hoping that you guys continue sampai dapat jawapan dia. Boleh ke? Boleh dah tak? Orang je boleh. Ideal je boleh. Yang lain mana? <laughs> thumbs up je. Okay. At least thumbs up lah. <laughs> Saya tak tengok muka korang. Nampak ni je. Okay thank you Hermi, Afiq, Aina. Okay. Okay good. Saya, saya tak continue eh. So, I, I believe remaining tu you boleh you boleh dapat. Macam saya kata tadi lah. It's very important you establish the correct limit order of integration betul based on the given problem. Okay kita tengok satu lagi lah. Ha, ni. Ni pula. Okay, so ni eh, kita baca ni pula example point. Okay, so example four uh, is another different uh, different example kat sini. Okay, sebab uh, kat sini, dia, okay, still you kena solve uh, f function of x, y, dx dengan g function of x, y, dy. So, you tahu dah sekarang, any Green's theorem uh, daripada single 
integration yang ada di SEY, you boleh convert dia kepada double integral of R. Okay, guna formula directly, formula money lah. You dah tahu dah kat mana. Okay, isu, uh, isu yang kebanyakan student face adalah to recognize daripada uh, curve cross curve ni nak, nak determine region R tu. Okay, sebab kalau ada formula pun tak tahu nak letak apa dekat ada punya, apa dia punya ni pun macam no point juga kan. Ada bagilah formula buat paper, bagilah online learning, apa online uh, exam pun it will be, you akan stuck kat situ. Okay, but no worries, uh, hopefully you see the several examples given and you do exercise, you get more confident now. Okay, so let's go for this one. Again, please sketch. Yes, okay. kat sini sketch info, you better highlight dulu apa info yang dia beri. Kat sini kata, C curve C T is a boundary of the region that actually come from two line and curve. Okay, the first one is actually Y equal to X squared. Satu lagi adalah line Y equal to X. Okay. So, you guys boleh sketch tak? Let's start sketching tak? Dua ni. Dekat you punya notes. Okay, ni Y sama dengan X. Obviously, this is line. Okay, satu lagi ni adalah Y equal to X squared. Ni adalah curve. Okay, how I know this? Okay, selain daripada experience. Okay, satu lagi you boleh tengok daripada the order of uh, the independent variables. But you ada function Y, you ada function X. But to always, always guys, always catch. Dekat paling kurang-kurang pun you, dah, you ada Y sama dengan X lah dalam you punya notes tu. Okay, lepas tu next move adalah you nak sketch kan? You nak sketch. So you, you are tahu ni ni paling basic lah guys. Y sama dengan X ni takkan lah graf graf bentuk bulat kan. That's no no lah kalau you guys Y equal to X you buat graf bulat. So it must be a line. Okay. Tapi line tu takkan lah line tegak aja. This is Y equal to X. So every increment increment of X Y pun akan increase dengan value yang sama. So dia akan sketch sketch. Saya tak suruh you draw. Draw kena cantik-cantik. Sketch at least ada bentuk. Okay. So the first one is Ha, punya bentuk pun bergok ha, tapi tak apalah. Tapi at least tahu dia adalah straight line y equal to x. Okay. Another one y equal to x squared. Okay. Y equal to x squared. Ni lah. Ni sebenarnya you kena recall balik you punya understanding. Bila y equal to x squared apa yang apa yang berlaku pada y uh, bila x tu diberi input uh, x positif, x negatif value. Okay. Maksudnya uh, y tak mungkin akan negatif tau. How we know that? Because sebab you treat, bila you ada function kan, you kena faham ni adalah sebagai input, ni sebagai output dia. Okay, so kalau input dia negatif, okay, what happen to the y? Dia still positif. Kalau input dia positif, x squared, okay, dia akan bagi positif lah, positif value dengan gandaan squared lah. Okay, tapi kalau x tu input dia negatif pun, sebabkan dia squared ni, x squared, so dia still akan bagi positif. So that is how you determine dia punya shape akan always uh, something like this. Macam tu. Oh, saya macam buruk sikit kan. Takpelah. Okay. So dia akan ada intersection satu dekat kosong, satu lagi dekat uh, satu dekat kosong origin, satu lagi dekat ni. Yang you tak tahulah katakan you tak tahu apa. Okay. So kalau saya zoom out ni okay, kalau saya lukis senonoh sikit daripada dia. Saya lukis yang betul sikit daripada ni. Sketching lah, sketching. Sketching need practice, lot of practice. So that you understand the, the, the ni. Okay, so you akan kata uh, you ada satu graph. Graph ni y sama dengan x squared. Okay, ni graph ni. Y, x. Satu lagi you ada uh, graph straight line. Okay. Line. Oh, bawah tak straight line. <laughs> Langgar kan. Eh? I believe you guys can draw well. Move well daripada I buat. Okay. So garis hitam tu adalah graph line Y sama dengan X. Yang biru tu adalah graph uh, Y sama dengan X squared. Boleh pak, boleh nampak eh. So let me put this in lah. Hmm, tak ni pula tak sesuai pula. Okay. But at, this, at the very least you dah nampak kat situ adanya region 
because there are intercept yang meng, apa yang meng, apa yang uh, yang disebabkan intersection between graph y equal to x squared dengan y equal to, y equal to x dengan y equal to x squared so yang kali yellow ni boleh nampak tak region tu biasanya saya akan zoom in tapi buat, buat dekat sini dah tak, tak boleh nak zoom in ok so get, get region r kat situ ok so you know that there are two point of intersection satu dekat kosong kosong Ok, satu lagi yang sini. Ni sama dengan berapa? Ok, so sebab tak sure dia sama dengan berapa. Ok, uh, you can do the intersection lah. Ok, you can do the intersection. Why you intersect between y equal to x and y equal to x squared. You need to say that uh, you substitute. Ok, you are this y sama dengan x squared. Ok, sebab y sama dengan x sini. So, x equal to x squared. So, you rearrange your expression. So, kena dapat x squared minus x. On this side akan 0. Okay. So, you will get x. x minus 1. Equal to 0. So, you uh, you will get two value of x. x equal to 0. And another one is x equal to 1. Okay. So, sebenarnya kat sini adalah x equal to 1. So, the, another intersection point here is actually at 1, 1. Point eh. I'm referring. So, sekarang ni ada line hitam. A curve. A blue curve, y equal to x squared and also 2 dot, 0, 0 and uh, 1, 1. Okay. So, this will actually help you to establish the limit of your function. Okay, limit of the function. So, you basically have C of the function, uh, the function this one, but you can, uh, to get the Green's theorem, okay, you akan buat, uh, dg dx, you akan dapat uh, del g del x, you akan dapat 2x. Okay. Minus del f del y, del f del y, you dapat 2y. Here's okay, 2y. Okay. And then now you have to start to think. Are you going to do dx dy ataupun dy dx? Uh, so today sikit. You rasa nak guna dx dy ke d, dy dx? dy dx. I'm referring to the order ni, dA ni. dA ni you nak pakai dx dy ke, you nak pakai dy dx. dx dy. Okay, kalau you nak pakai dx dy, so let's try. Dia tak salah pun, dia nak pakai dx dy boleh, dy dx. Apa, dy dx boleh. Dia akan beza, you dah. I believe you clearly akan faham sekarang dia perbezaan dia dekat order of integration tu dia akan tentukan uh, limit je lah. So, okay, tadi kan you pakai dx, dy. Okay. So, since you want to see x, dy. So, the outer limit yang bahagian ni, y ni. Okay. Yang bahagian y ni. Okay. So, uh, y tu dia mesti integer. Okay. So, kalau you nak pakai y tu sebagai integer, okay. So, y u adalah daripada line kosong kepada line satu. Okay, line kosong kepada line satu. Okay, so x u, okay. x u pula. x u pula. The lower limit, mesti sebab x sama dengan satu function dengan x sama dengan apa function. Okay, X punya pergerakan adalah daripada kiri left to the right. Okay, Y pergerakan dia daripada bawah ke atas. Okay, Y bergerak daripada bawah ke atas. Sebab itu Y pertama, line pertama yang dia touch adalah line Y equal to zero. Okay, yang ni kan. Y. So, ni adalah Y sama dengan kosong kepada Y sama dengan satu. Dia are referring to the same region tau. Okay, kalau X ni pula your x, x must be taking the first x, dia punya sebab dia move, dia, dia macam you tengah berjalan-jalan, you jumpa satu tanah, tanah tu region tu bentuk dia macam yang yellow ni, okay, dia first jalan-jalan dia akan jumpa line hitam ni dulu, okay, so x sama dengan y, okay, dan dia akan lepas uh, kawasan region tu dengan pada this side, this blue curve ni, 
So this blue curve, kalau you nak jadikan X sebagai title, dia akan jadi uh, square root Y. Sebab dia ada X belah, uh, belah positif dengan juga X belah negatif Y. Tapi sebab region ni berada pada positif Y, so dia akan jadi Y. Nampak? Okay. So, selain you guna ni, sekejap tadi ni siapa saja tadi kan, sekejap tadi ASDY. Okay. Uh, ada juga method di mana you boleh, apa, you boleh reverse order. Sebab yang ni bila you include dalam you punya integration, you akan encounter square root Y nanti. Okay, dia macam jadi macam kompleks sikit lah you punya uh, method, uh, you punya solution. Remember tadi yang kita nak solution focus kan? Okay. So, uh, so in some cases it's good you reverse order of integration. Tapi function kat dalam ni tak berubah. So, X product to Y. Okay, sama. Okay, dy dx. So by having this, you will notice that okay, first you solve kat, you can uh, ensure the outer, outer integral, outer limit Okay, after limit must be integer. So kalau macam ni, still referring to the same region, movement of X still bergerak daripada kiri ke kanan. Okay, tapi untuk integer, the first integer that they, uh, that, that, they, that they encounter is X equal to zero. Okay, and they will leave this region pada integer X equal to one. Okay, whereas for Y, okay, Y akan bergerak daripada mana? Bawah ke atas kan? Uh, bawah bottom to the top. Okay, pergerakan bawah dia. So, ada orang jalan-jalan jumpa tanah ni. So, the first curve yang dia jumpa adalah curve biru. So, y equal to x squared. And then, they leave this region, okay, pada y equal to x. Okay, so both uh, order of integration and this one should give you the same answer. Answer dia mesti sama. You boleh try cuba. I tak I tak tunjuk lah. Uh, tapi I I really emphasis on uh, you really apa master on how to determine dia punya order of integration. Order of integration because it will reflect dia punya uh, limit tu penentuan limit. Okay guys. So I will uh, apa recording this Green's theorem, okay, give uh, us some time to break, okay, and then you can continue with the remaining me. I'm very uh, uh, happy to help you to, for, uh, to, for you to really understand uh, the, uh, apa, when you convert every uh, Green's theorem ni kepada double integral and then to determine the, re, the punya limits of the region tu, okay. Uh, macam ni kan, you can tengok, Uh, that's why I really advise you to familiarize yourself with the type of region. Okay. Uh, yang ni akan jadi bentuk macam mana. Sketching, sketching, sketching. Always sketching because all the given example yang kita discuss for this uh, session is already show you the, all the possible way to determine, uh, to, to, to state and apply this green theorem. Okay. So I will end this recording uh, first.